Welcome to Crap and Girl Classes Online, Lesson 2. Feet together, hands both sides, bowing. Okay, till you on the spot. Nice and easy, nice and relaxed. Breathing into the nose, out through the mouth. Nice and loose. Side to side. And jog. Okay, still keep nice and loose as you're breathing. Breathe in through your nose. Really expand your rib cage, get as much air in your lungs as you can when you breathe out. Tense your stomach muscles, collapse your stomach, breathe out, get all the air out of your lungs. So you're cycling all the air that you have in your lungs. Start to energize your body. Okay, arms out to the sides. Roll the wrists forwards, nice and slowly. And backwards. And jogging. Okay, arms up at the back. As you breathe in, down at the front, breathe out. Breathe in, down the back, breathe out. And jogging. Okay, jumping jacks with me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 18, 19, 20. Jogging. Keep the breathing going. Okay, one step forward, one step back, palms up. Okay, step forward, palm strikes. Finger strikes. Hands coming back to the shoulders, guard position each time, palms, punches, palms, fingers, any combination. Okay, if the hands are punching, make sure they come back to guard position to the palms by the side of the head. And jogging. Okay, when I stay down, drop and burn, feet apart, heels on the floor, when I stay up, jumping up. Watching your ceiling high, obviously. Okay. Down. 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 Up. Up. Down. Up. Up there. Down. Up. Down. Up. Bring the legs around a bit, a little stretch in the calves, chin to the chest. Looking down, and up. And down, and up. Look to the right, and the left. To the right, and the left. Up to the right, and to the left. Up to the right, and to the left. Up to the left, and to the right. Up to the left, and to the right. Hands on the hips, tilt the hips up to the front, 
to the right, up at the back, and to the left. Keep moving around, try and keep your shoulders and head where they are. Just use your core and tilt your hips around, thinking about mobilizing the base of your spine. That's a very stubborn area to flex and make more flexible. So just want to make sure the area of the body is warmed up as well. Okay, feet together, bend the knees, forwards and backwards, head up, back straight. Your breathing going. Shift with a little uh, stretch on the base of the calves. Okay, now rotating clockwise. And then to clockwise. Okay, balance on your left foot, bring your right knee up, parallel to the floor, rotate the foot clockwise, and anti-clockwise. Look to your right, slowly push the foot out, and balance, rotate the foot clockwise, anti-clockwise. Foot back down again. Balance on the right foot, bring the left knee up, parallel to the floor, rotate clockwise, Anti-clockwise. This time to the left, push out and balance. Rotate foot clockwise and then anti-clockwise. Foot back hand. Good, okay, Johnny. Twists. So on my core, I'm going to the left leg, bring the right knee up to the elbows for a count of 10 and change to the opposite leg. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. Twist again. And jogging. Okay, this time you're going to be kicking out. Okay, when you kick out, make sure pulling the toes back, slapping with the ball of the foot, going to a comfortable height. Okay, with me. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jogging. Breathing going into the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, so this time I sit down, bend the knees, okay, knees between the elbows, hop feet back, one press up, up, and jump up to the ceiling, okay? Fingers towards the ceiling, toes towards the floor. Okay, down. Up and jogging. Shoulders and the arms. Okay, this time when I stay down, I'm gonna take a chicken chin, roll back here, come up, facing guard, getting up without using my hands. When you're doing it, you find it a lot easier. You take your left leg up underneath, uh, sort of big one, right leg up underneath, left leg forward, so you go here up into guard. Okay. Done. And jogging. Done. 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 Okay, 
Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Okay, last thing, go. Stop stepping around to the left. Go. Change direction. Change. Change. Knees from the elbows, 
pop your feet back. One press up. You're going to come up. And as you come up, you kick forward with the front kick. Okay? What we're going to do is we're going to circle. Circle, circle, circle. I say down, drop down, come up, kick. Circle in the opposite direction. Okay? So, get ready. Circling to the left. Go. Down. Kick with your right leg. Same direction. Down. Kick your left leg. Change. Down. Same direction. Down. Exercises, okay? Left forearm, right forearm. Left forearm and strike, right forearm and strike. One, two, three, four. Okay, with me. One, two, three, four. One, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit faster then. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, faster again then. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, last three. Maximum speed. Okay, get ready. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Relax, grab a drink. Take a breather for 60 seconds. Then we're going to move on to the revision. So just pace around and breathe, okay? Pace around and breathe. In through the nose, right through the mouth, have a drink. Core skills course, revision. We're revising the pop kicks, okay, from neutral and guard. So this is a revision, so it's something we've done before. So remember the, the pop kicks here. Again, we're, we're breaking distance. We're breaking distance. Oh, moving there, okay? We're breaking distance by pushing off the supporting leg as we do the kick. So this is my kick here, bam. As I do, as I start to do the kick, I'm popping forward maybe 15 to 30 centimeters at the most with the rear leg which enables me to move forward enough to break the distance and strike the target, okay? 
So we're here, boom, just popping forwards, okay? The same applies for the, uh, for the outer roundhouse. So again, we're still working from neutral position. So I'm coming here to do the outer roundhouse. As I do it, I pop forward off the rear foot. Okay, so I'm here, pop forward off the rear foot to break that distance. Here, pop forward off the rear foot to break the distance. Uh, side kick, exactly the same here. Okay, go back into guard here. Slipping down into guard. When we're doing this, it's good practice to work for you to position a strike boom, as a very fast, quick, non telegraphed strike. It's also good to practice stepping down and into guard. So we're here, boom, step down into guard. We're here, step down into guard. We're here, step down into guard. All right? So you can practice both aspects of that. Then I want to practice from guard position. So this means you're doing a pop kick only with the lead leg. So I'm in my guard position here. And there, I'm going to do the kick with the lead leg. Oh. So I'm popping off the rear leg. And this is exactly the same here for the outer roundhouse and here for the side kick. Main difference is your arms are still kept in guard position as you kick. So make sure that when you do the kick with the, uh, with the outer roundhouse or the side kick, you don't end up bringing your body this way. Try and keep your, your guard up and look between your hands as you're kicking. So we're here, boom, come down into guard, and I've maintained my vision towards the target and my guard at the same time. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we've got three kicks to the left, three kicks to the right. So front kick, out around, out side kick with each one. I want you to do the whole six, uh, the whole group of six, five times. Okay, the whole group of six, five times. Each time, stepping down into guard. Okay. Then what I want you to do, get into a guard position, okay, and practice the three kicks here, two and three, okay. Practice that group five times as well. Okay, so five times a group of six, kicking each lead the leg, and five times from guard, just kicking the lead leg, okay? Make sure you're using your breathing, breathe out as you kick, finish up in guard position. Carry on.
Okay, course yells course, technique one. Backwards break fall from height. Okay. Not the easiest thing to do when you don't have a partner. Normally what you would do is you have somebody uh, sort of behind your legs here, you would fall back and then you would do the break fall. Okay? Not so easy when you don't have a partner. But what you can do is to go into a crouch position and then throw yourself back. Okay? So we're here. Do a bit of practice first and wind up to it. The point of this is to uh, prove the difference between just sitting down on the floor and doing a break fall and arriving at the floor with a reasonable amount of speed. This shows you how good your break fall is. All right. The important part to think about is the back of your head not hitting the floor. Okay, this is a very weak part of your head here, your brain is rather close to the surface on the back here. So the last thing you want to be doing is smacking the back of your head on the floor. So anytime you go towards the floor, you're really tucking that chin deep into the front of your chest. Okay? So we're gonna go here to start off with, we're just gonna sit on the floor, okay, from this position, okay? Like so. And then you're just gonna roll back, do your break fall and come back up to here. So roll back. Break fall and up to this position. Please make sure that it's the whole of your arm that touches the floor and, and not the elbows, okay? Or the wrists, okay? This or this, okay? And so broken wrists or broken arms, okay? So we roll back, okay? You do that five times. And then what we're going to do is graduate. So we're going to crouch like so, okay? Chin down. Sit and and up again. Crouch. Sit and there. And up. Okay. Then what you're going to do is work from a crouched position with your bum up a bit. So you're here and then lean back. There. Okay. Try and keep the legs uh, solid so you don't uh, just come down onto your. Um, uh, you know, you don't just bend your knees and then and roll on your bum. You try and keep your legs solid here and there. Okay, so you're landing as much as you can flat with your back on the floor. So here, there, breathe out, lean back, there. And again, lock the legs, breathe out, lean back, chin and chest, there. Okay, so. Practice five times, sitting on the floor, rolling backwards and forwards. Then five times, crouch and right down. Okay, and then five times with your legs locked and throwing yourself back. Okay? Once well, in all 15, have a quick break, think about what you're doing, then go through it again. Carry on.
And stop there. Active content. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, avoiding a, uh, a punch that's going towards our face, leaning back, and then kicking. Okay. The way we're going to practice this is we're going to circle, circle, circle. Okay. When I say kick, you're going to lean your body back. Okay. Out of the way of the punch. Boom. And then kick with the uh, with the trailing leg. Okay. So each time we're circling. Okay. And I say kick. The body comes back to avoid. Boom. And then you're kicking with the ball of the foot. It could be to the to the floating ribs or to the groin. So you can alternate the heights. Okay, so you're here, so kick, circling, kick. The important bit is head back, chin down. You're avoiding somebody leaning forward because somebody's here, they're going bang, like this. Okay, here, oh, and then you're going to step back and you're going to kick. All right, we'll step back, lean back, we'll get out of the way, but the main point is you're here, we'll press six times there, head back, chin down, here, kick. Boom. Change direction. Kick. Head back, chin down. And kick. Right? Keep your balance by keeping your chin down. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Kick. 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 Thank you. 
hands done. Good. Have a breather. Grab a drink. Cycle your breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really inflate and deflate your chest. Keep your breath back. Okay, core skills course. Uh, second technique, parry and strike with the same hand. Okay, so parry and strike with the same hand. Guard position. Okay, is what we're practicing. Point of this exercise, have the person strikes towards you, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to deflect and then strike. Quite often when uh, we're working through this, we find people are just parrying with their hand, or they're parrying with their hand trying to slap it away, and then the hand comes back and punches. Always, 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 we come back to the fundamentals of crab and go. Okay? So what I mean by that is we're thinking, right, okay, fast, simple, and effective. Okay, we're fast. As much of the technique goes directly to the target as possible. Let's look at it like this. Okay, so if we're in this position here, I power the arm out of the way, bring the hand back and strike. Okay, you can see from, from the side here that my hand here doesn't go anywhere towards the attacker. Has to come back here effectively before it strikes. Okay. What we're saying is we're going to propose this. Bang, bang. Okay. So you see the first part of my arm here boom, comes forward and it comes forward and deflects. Okay, bam, there. And from this position here, it carries on to the strike to the face. Okay. So you see the difference between this, so no movement towards the face, and then a punch, or one, two. Okay. And as much as we can, it's bang, bang, directly forwards, bang, 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 bang. Okay. Same with the rear hand, rear hand is exactly the same. Okay. So here, bang, 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 bang. Now, a couple of things about the placement of the elbow. If somebody comes towards me like this, okay, I have no knowledge whatsoever whether they're punching me in the nose, the jaw, the throat, or the solar plexus. Okay? If they're here, it's unlikely they're going to drop down and try and punch me in the groin, so I'm pretty much thinking I've got to cover this space. If I'm powering like this, okay, I'm only covering probably a third uh, of the space. So this is why when we practice this, we're going here, boom. We're bringing our elbow across, here, boom. So when we, def when we deflect, we're here. So as you can see, my forearm and hand are coming across and deflecting the, the, everything in this space that's coming towards it. Okay. So we're practicing here, bam, 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 bam. Okay, so what are we to practice? Uh, to practice this, and you're gonna practice five times with each arm, I want you to think, hand and elbow forwards, keep going forwards and strike. Hand and elbow forwards, keep going forwards and strike. With the rear hand, hand and elbow forwards, keep going forwards and strike. Hand and elbow forwards, keep going forwards and making the strike. So as you can see, we don't rotate our shoulders here. We're literally here, bam, okay? Deflect, deflect, strike, deflect, strike, deflect, strike. Okay, so like I said, I want you to do five times with each arm, okay, and then speed it up. So you're going to do five, really slow, really focused, looking at what you're doing, okay, forward and strike, rotating on the last bit when we're doing the punch, bang, okay, there, then five, 
let's say medium speed here. And then five at good fast speed. Okay, so. Okay, so. Five punches, left and right, alternating. Okay, slow speed, focusing on the technique. Medium speed, and then fast. Carry on. Okay, integration course, second technique. Working on inner defense from a straight stand. Okay, so, somebody here is striking towards me with their right, uh, right hand, they're aiming for this space here. Okay, sort of face, throat, solar plexus, okay? I'm gonna go here. Okay, so we're here. So, from this position, I'm gonna bring my hand forward, almost like, almost like I wanna shake hands, but I'm gonna bring my hand forward with the, with the, uh, with the elbow down, palm across my, uh, my heart here, okay? And then I'm gonna deflect, okay, with my elbow. Now, you see this here is the attacking line, this is the, the line they're attacking on. As I come forwards here, my hand comes up to protect. As the knife's coming in close, I'm gonna turn, bring that elbow out, okay? I wonder if I'm gonna bring that elbow out so we know that I'm deflecting the knife past the line of my body. If I just do this, okay, you can see I'm still deflecting the, the knife into my body. So I need to be here, there, before I move forwards. So this position here, there, okay? You can see that the elbow comes across, deflects the knife and the forearm outside my body, okay? So we're here, there, one. The second one is I'm driving forwards with my right foot, okay? I'm gonna grab with my left hand and then with my right forearm straight into the throat, okay, here, there. So from this position here, you come in here, one, and it's a, a really hard driving forward motion of the body. What am I doing here with my left hand? So I'm here, first position here, boom. So you can see now that the hand is kind of hidden behind my arm. So you imagine that the knife has been deflected over here. So what, I, what I'm doing is as I'm coming forward, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and turn, okay?
Okay. okay, stop there. Back to the active content. So, active content is leaning back and kicking. Okay, and you're kicking to the, to the floating ribs or to the groin or maybe even to the face if you want. Okay. The point here, okay, is we, whenever we're doing the second part of the, of the active content, the first part is getting used to what the technique is. The second part is more to do with uh, the qualities. How do we build up that technique to be better at it? All right, so this is what we do. When I lean back, if I've got my head up, okay, and I kick, I can't lean too far back before I start to lose my balance. I want to lean back with my chin down, okay? So leaning back with my chin down, I can go back quite a long way, okay, and still be able to kick effectively. Next, so I've got good balance because bringing my head forwards, my, my head is heavy, right? And, well, not just mine, but everybody's head is heavy. But you, you, you bring your head forwards, okay, and that helps to keep that weight more towards the centre of your body so you can maintain the balance. The punch is coming towards your face, you're leaning back and kicking. Now, so that's the first quality, keeping that chin down. The second quality is still making sure we do a good uh, flex with the hips. Okay? Now the one thing with this technique is that you, would, you, that you should feel is a flex here on top of your thigh. Okay? So we're here, we're circling, 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 this position here, there, oh, okay? and you're feeling it here on the supporting leg. Okay. So we're here, there, and as I kick, boom. Okay, I got chin down, okay, foot out. Here is where I feel the stretch because I'm throwing my hips forwards. Okay. So those are the two things. Okay. Number one, chin down. Number two, hips forward. Number three, just remember to breathe out with the kick. Okay. So you're circling here, there, taking the direction. Okay. Hips back, keep the guard up, all right, and let's work it through. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one, go! Kick! 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 Kick!
Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, go! Kick! 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 And stop. Good. Have a breather. Grab a drink. Sit so cycle your breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really inflate and deflate your chest. Get your breath back. Okay, core skills course, self-defense scenario. This is dealing with down, uh, sorry, down and up knife attacks at short distances, okay? So we're talking here, about an attack here, there, or there. And when I say down and up, it's, it's not just here and it's not just there. It can be anywhere, upwards, sort of around to here, or from here, around to there. These are all that what we would consider to be downward strikes. Okay? So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna imagine our, our partner striking with the, with, with, with the right hand, so I'm defending with my left here. Okay? And what I want you to practice is, uh, for, for this level, uh, for the core skills level, is defense with simultaneous attack followed by two strikes. Okay? So we're thinking here, the downward attack comes down, we're going to be here, one, okay, followed by one here and two, and maybe three, off, okay. So, one, push away, grab the shoulder and the wrist, striking, coming back, strike, strike, okay. So, think about it. defense, simultaneous attack, minimum of two strikes, okay. Now, what I want you to also think about is the different positions of the feet, okay? So we're back to the first one here, is one, two, three, four, okay? Also stepping around here, one, two, three, four, okay? Same for the upwards one. First immediate strike, one, okay? Wrap, strike, two, here, bang, three, maybe take down all the way to the floor, okay? One, two, wrap and strike, okay? Here, turning, turning, strike, kick, okay? And again, so upward strike, one, wrap, strike to the groin, step back, bang, strike, kick to the groin again. Okay. Also, think about the foot positioning, stepping away from the knife here. One. Okay. Wrap and grab. Boom. Two. Step back. Striking, striking, and kicking. Alright. So we have four positions. Okay. Just for the purpose of the sun, just want you to, uh, to, to work 
I'm using the left arm in defence. If you want to work on the other side, but the exercises I'm talking about are just to do with a, a right-handed person attacking you. Okay, so here with the left hand, no movement at the feet. Downward strike. One. Here, grab. Strike, strike, strike. Okay, stepping with the feet. Simultaneous. Grab, strike, strike, strike. Okay, upward strike. No movement at the feet. One. Wrap and grab. Strike and down. Bang, bang. Strike. Okay. Stepping with the feet this time. Opposite foot to the defence. One. Rotate. Pin. Grab. Here. Strike. 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 Okay. So that's what I want you to work on. So you're going to do three times. Left-handed upper defence. No movement at the feet. Minimum of two strikes after the simultaneous defence. Then three times. Stepping. Then three times, no movement at the feet, upwards defence. And then three times, stepping opposite with upwards defence. All of them, simultaneous defence and attack, minimum of two strikes afterwards. Okay? So that's three, six, nine, twelve. Do the whole group of twelve. Quick breather, 15, 20 seconds. Think again about what it is that you need to do. And then do it again. Slightly increase the speed as you do it. Start off really slowly and then build up the speed when you become more comfortable with the techniques that you're doing. Okay, carry on.
Okay, right, stop there. Press up position. 20 press ups. Back straight, off you go. Okay, when you finish that, on your backs. Okay, 100 crunches. Up. up we go, left leg forward, right leg tucked in. Okay, change legs. Put your leg behind. You put in the space in the middle. Both feet facing the front, inside your elbows, head up, back straight, drive your heels forward until they go as far as they can. Hold it there. Deep breath in and push the heels forwards. Deep breath in. And push the heels forwards. Deep breath in. A little bit further. And relax. Okay, bring your heels in. Your knees towards the floor. <sighs> okay, 
Okay. Now you're front of your legs. Separate your legs. Put the body towards the ground. One behind, separate feet a little bit more. Okay, right hand underneath your right leg and over the top. Other side. And up. Okay. One hand in front, one behind. Push that a little bit wider. Okay, body in front, try and get your uh, forearms down towards the floor, okay? So deep breath in, and push. Deep breath in, and push. Deep breath in and push. Deep breath in and push. And relax. Okay, shake your legs up. Keep your legs on the floor. Okay, if you've got enough room, back and roll, and up. Okay, so, hands and hips, big rotations, clockwise, and anticlockwise. Chin to your chest, looking down, roll your head around, right it to the right shoulder, and the back, left it to the left shoulder, chin on your chest, and back the other way. Stretching up, one arm and the other. Feet together, bend your knees, forwards and backwards. Head up, back straight, rotating clockwise, and to clockwise. Right toes on the floor, and left toes on the floor. Left hand over right. Take your wrists. A little bit of a jig below. Two real nice and loose. Feet together. Hands by your sides. Okay. Thank you very much. Good work. Well done.